Uh, when Chandrayaan-3 took off towards the lunar surface, it carried on board uh, the aspirations and hopes of 1.8 billion Indians and, of course, the Vikram lander as precious cargo. Its success resonated with not just each and every Indian, but the entire world as well as historically significant stride was taken in the exploration of the universe that we call home. And Aditya L1 is the Indian satellite dedicated to the comprehensive study of the sun with seven distinct payloads as developed indigenously. As India's first space observatory, the strategic placement at the L1 Langridge also uh, ensures that Aditya L1 can maintain a constant uninterrupted view of the sun, giving our nation an unprecedented access to the study and understanding of our gaseous life star. Which is why we are now honored to invite on the stage here, we have none other than Dr. Viru Mutuvel, the project director of Chandrayaan 3. Please do come up here on the stage, sir. Huge round of applause there. And let's not forget none other than Dr. Nigar Shaji, someone who has shown us and inspired what a woman can really do, the kind of groundbreaking work that she has done. But today, she's much more than just a woman, isn't it? It's an honor to have you here. So, uh, thank you so much, Honorable Minister and MK. We request you to please present this special recognition award as well to the amazing Indians who have inspired generations of Indians. So, if we can have you back on stage, please. Dr. Veera Motuvel. A huge round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. There is one question I think everyone would like to know here. We've all seen the deeds, the feats that you have managed to succeed in. But what about the journey? It's very interesting because you've spoken about how you've studied in a railway school, how you come from very humble background. You said you were the first engineer in your family as well. What inspired you to look into the space to explore it for India? When I was doing my engineering, I, I always looked upon the ISRO and I wanted to join in ISRO. So that's how my, I, my dream went and I finally joined Distro and then I took up a lot of challenging projects. This Chandrayaan 2, even I was part of Chandrayaan 2 and uh, we know the uh, setback in Chandrayaan 2 and the Chandrayaan 3 I became project director and uh, from that time onwards uh, our single goal was to make the, to master the technology of safe and soft landing onto the lunar surface. That was our goal. The entire team has worked towards that. And we had a lot of challenges, uh, I mean, coming from Chandrayaan to set back, uh, multiple challenges like what went wrong in Chandrayaan 2 and how to correct it. And then what are the series of tests we supposed to undergo? We conceptualized and conducted a series of special tests simulating the lunar environment on Earth. And then realizing multiple modules and then finally uh, getting ready for the launch and uh, we cannot have a failure this time and we have to make sure that uh, we should land. That was our goal. How do you inspire your team at a time of great distress? There would have been stress. You talked about Chandrayaan too. How do you keep the team motivated? Yeah, uh, as I said, uh, this is the only goal the entire team had. We lived on to it and we were always on our toes to complete this mission. And yes. uh, the, the important thing is, uh, this, is an, uh, this is always is slow. Uh, we, uh, any, any time the failure happens, we always bounce back. So that, that was our spirit. And the entire team worked towards one common goal is to have a soft landing technology. That was our only goal. Incredible work. Thank you so much. Uh, Dr. Shaji, of course, you've been the toast of the nation. Uh, incredible work which has been done. But we all would like to know a bit about you as well. I believe you've always been a topper, topper of class 10, topper of class 12. Uh, you were someone who's always broken ground, isn't it? One of the very few uh, women who were part of the engineering batch of uh, 1986, if I'm not mistaken, when you passed out. Did you always think that I must set an example for the others or were you just simply following your passion? Oh, it's not, uh, but I always wa want to break the rules. <laughs> and always I want to make sure that uh, women are on par with men. So that's what my, uh, the 
college days, I used to dream of that. And I could do a bit of it now. So I'm very happy that I could do it. And in ISRO, there is no gender diversity or any you no know, glass ceiling. And whoever is uh, have the capability, and uh, you will be given a chance to prove it. So that way, I'm very fortunate to be part of ISRO and part of this mission. And uh, have a, we bring laurels to the country. Well, thank you so much. Many have said the launch of Chandrayaan and the soft landing which happened, it was akin to the 1983 uh, moment of India when we won the World Cup. I, I don't know if all of you ever thought that we'd see a moment like that, but thank you so much for providing that to India. In fact, ladies and gentlemen, I think this uh, moment right here on stage, we, sh we need to have a standing ovation for... A huge round of applause, please. Well, this was one of the moments when the entire nation came together, when we all felt that proud moment when we could call ourselves Indians and say, today the world has taken notice. Thank you so much to you as well as your teams for providing that to us.